a lot have been talked about Vic, Van, Vic Fangio uh, being brought in as a, I guess, a, what are they calling it? consultant? Now he has been obviously a, a, a coordinator for the 49ers before. You know, he's been a head coach in this league as well. He does run a different defense than what D'Amico likes to run. How do you feel about him coming in and being a consultant, even though, you know, he runs a completely different style of defense? Bring him in right now. Sign him. Don't let him leave SF. Don't let him leave the Bay immediately. <laughs> Don't let him leave. Tell me why. Write that. I was going to write that today. Might still write it. I don't know. Uh, until Grant wants me to write the Welker piece after this. But, uh, Yes, hold him in because you know why? And I was thinking about it, and it wasn't until Middlecoff tweeted it that I was like, okay, I don't feel like an idiot. <laughs> Where it's like, wouldn't you consult, keep him as a consultant and then give him the DC job the next year in 2024 or 2023 when D'Amico's gone? Because what's the likelihood D'Amico's getting a head coach job? Like, it's more Very likely high. than not, right? Yeah. I mean, the fact that you got already like one coaching, a head coaching interview already reveals that. Um, especially if he does anything close to what he did last season. My God, the job he did, phenomenal, blew the doors yeah. off. Um, so if he does anything close to that, it, I think it's foregone conclusion. He's gone. Um, so him so him coming uh, coming on would be like a no-brainer. I know the scheme thing, that would probably be something to figure out. But, I mean, you're, you're saying D'Amico Ryans goes. I mean, who are they going to hire within? I mean, sure, there's a lot of there's a lot of more. That's, there's so much that can happen from here and now of coaches they can hire, coaches they can groom. But I don't think Kacerik wants to be defensive coordinator. I'm pretty sure he might have been on the record, or I, I know for sure I've already heard that at the time, like a year ago, he didn't want to be it. Um, so I guess at least if you keep him on board, you know, after he's been a year of consulting, has a lot lighter duty job, then eventually maybe he takes over. And now you have a really good – defensive mind to replace ryan's and then boom now you still have a solid defense consistently throughout years with a successors with sala ryan's and now fangio so i think that's a beautiful thing right there because i mean that'd be something to definitely hold hold on to there's there's nothing ever wrong with getting a brilliant mind with fangio the same thing with offense nothing wrong with getting anthony Lynn. that's a great hire right there in itself and so now if you get fangio now you got now you got potentially something on the shelf for Ryan's Lee, but if not, that's all. It definitely can't hurt. Yeah, I just wonder about too many cooks in the in the kitchen when it comes to two defensive coordinators on the same staff type of thing. Well, he would just be a consultant. He's not going to really right. be like hands on. That's what I'm saying. That's where it gets tricky because what does that mean? What is his role going to be? How hands on is he going to be? You know what what is that? Because how maybe does that give you a leg up to to bring him on? Next season, if D'Amico, you know, leaves, that's cool. But what if there's a better option out there, right? So, like, are you are you kind of, you know, putting all of your – because, look, who would have thought any of these coaches, Brian Flores would have been available. You know what I mean? Like, things happen. So, mm-hmm. so you never really know. So, I just don't know what exactly it would. I mean, obviously, it sounds great. And I – like you said, I trust what Shanahan does with his coaching staff. I think that's one thing that – He's done at a very high clip. So whatever decisions he make, I'm going to be all for. I just wonder about that. The last thing you just said, um, Chris Kostrick, he is out of his contract. Is there any news about him being signed again? Like, I think he's somebody that you put him in a room, lock the door, throw away the key and say, give him a blank check and just be like, fill this out, sign another contract for however many years because we need you as – the best in my eyes defensive line coach in the game. Is that really he's really out of his contract already? I had so many position coaches that feel like that can that's never like revealed. Like Ajon Embry, it turned out he was actually his deal was done too or something. Yeah. I think and, I think that's what I've heard. That's what somebody has told me. So I guess I who knows? I mean, but I it, if that is the case, obviously that would be the one coach that you need to bring back, right? Well, if he if he does, let's let's play with it. If he is actually a free agent coach right now, and they didn't sign him by now, that's alarming because you don't let you don't let you don't let your best position coach leave. Right, because that guy's by far your best position coach on the team since Kyle Shannon got there. Just so the maybe way I just, just got, maybe I just got bad news then. Maybe no, I don't. Scared. I mean, I don't know. You could be right. I don't know. It's it's always that's why I hate position coaches. Like anything, it's never like known about how long. You always usually. You always usually assume it's the same length of the coach's original contract 
Mm -hmm. um, but you don't know who got extended or not, depending right. uh, when Kyle Shanahan got his extension uh, a couple years ago. So maybe he's – so I always assume the tie to the hip the same way. Gotcha. Um, so but, maybe he already did get extended. I don't know. Maybe. Obviously, I don't know. If you haven't heard anything, it's probably not true. I mean, I would so, assume once one of the one of the beat reporters that would have been one of their questions. What do you what do you think about Chris Sir? You know, coming yeah. home back or not? Cool. So I mean, um, but if God, if they let him go, that's terrible. That's right. then then we're gonna have to add to this. Like God, Mike McDaniel, and now forget Mike McDaniel. I think God might be the hardest to replace because of what he's able to do with so many of these guys. Get them the high level. I mean, yeah, uh, Arden Key, all those middling guys, just to actually make them not just like regular middling deportation to actually make them like key contributors is wild. And plus I would, I would miss him seeing training camp. It's fun yelling at his guys. Go, go. <laughs> My God, dude, I'm surprised you haven't heard it from LA because that guy screams at the top of his lungs. Hey man, he reminds me of a Mexican household when you're about to get your, uh, your booty beat with the chancla and everything. So just, you would hear it from God knows where from far, you know, you know, you know, you're getting after it. If, if someone gets that high pitched. I love it. I love it. Uh, Low the truth. Who are you guys eyeing to be our next offensive coordinator? Did Anthony Lynn already get that title or no? I know he got. Uh, you know, I think they're gonna leave it open again, like they did yeah. two years, like they had been. It doesn't really matter who who that is. It's gonna be right. Kyle calling the plays. That's all. That's all just fluff. It's all just yep. just have the name.